welcome back to Cronje, your one-stop destination for all the latest tech and biz updates. This is Nupur and today we are going to talk about HTTP requests and responses. But first, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then please hit the subscribe button over here for new and great content. Now, let's get started. But first, let's us understand what is an HTTP all about. HTTP or Hypertext Transfer Protocol refers to the protocol that enables clients or users to send a request to the server or web browser and based on this request, the server responds back. So, what is an HTTP request? The binary data using which a client requests the server for a particular action is known as HTTP request. For example, I want to access some information about software developer from Wikipedia. So I will search for software development Wikipedia on the Google search bar and press the search button. The information will be passed on to the server for processing and delivering the results. This is what HTTP request is all about. What are the various parts of an HTTP request? Now, every HTTP request has three main elements in it, namely request line, request header, and body of request. The request line helps in three ways. Firstly, it specifies what the server needs to do with the incoming information. Secondly, it comprises the request URL, which helps the server to find the apt resources. Lastly, it also specifies what HTTP protocol version will be utilized. The request header aids in passing more information about the request made. This further helps the server to deal with the demanded information. The body of request is an optional part of the HTTP request, which can be used to send additional data to the server. Now let's move on to HTTP response. HTTP response is the second part of the HTTP process. That is, it refers to the response that the server makes on the basis of the request made by the client. Taking the above example, once I click the search button, Google provides me with numerous and numerous results with the software development page from Wikipedia on the top. This is HTTP response. What are the various parts of an HTTP response? Similar to HTTP request, HTTP response also has three main elements, namely status line, response header, and response body. The status line comprises the HTTP protocol version, status code, and reason phase. The response header or headers helps in passing additional information to the client from the server. This is a reverse action of the request header. The response body acts in two different ways. In the case of a successful search, the body contains the resource location as demanded by the client. In case of an unsuccessful search, the body will contain the reason for the error as well as the steps that the client needs to undertake to complete the request. Check out how HTTP request and response works in real time from our blog. The link to it is in the description box below. If you like this video, do hit the like button and comment as well as share the video. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to Cronje for amazing and exclusive tech and biz content. Contact us today for all your tech related needs and we will surely help you out in the most cost effective way. So that was all for this video guys. See you in the next one.